Hey people, I'm going to start this with a little public service announcement and then on to some priceless information they don't want you to know. But I uh, I started a couple new channels, one here on BitChute called Hidden History. Uh, due to the word coming from YouTube that they're going to take down channels that uh, aren't advertiser friendly. And I also started one on, on Brighton. Uh, same name, Hidden History Channel. And I'll keep on uh, posting on YouTube until uh, until they take my channel down. This Brighton, this is the one that was started by Mike Adams. Had the, uh, he had the Health Ranger store on YouTube and they, they took him down. And oh, uh, oh Google just, just hates him. Uh, Google and Wikipedia hate him. They they spend most of their time down him. But it was uh, for me the real video he just changed to Brighton. And and uh, Wikipedia talks real bad about him and, uh, and the Bit Shoot channel. And Brighton strikes back uh, on their smaller platform, but they just don't have the power that, that uh, Wikipedia has being they have Google with them, and they can just make you disappear if they want. So if you read on the Jimmy Wales page, that's the founder, co-founder of Wikipedia, says he's a big fan of Star Trek, so it's possible that he knows the secret meaning of the Vulcan handshake. But this, uh, this is the, the hand sign, the secret hand sign that the Pope gives when giving the blessing to Israel. And it appears to say here, uh, in, install the washer to covet. The washers usually, uh, they give the meaning of ten. Install the ten to covet. To covet as in to covet thy neighbor's wife. To covet as in to, to, to store. You know, to, to have plenty enough to, to store. You remember, uh, I was reading about that in uh, in Psalms uh, about the mirror, but uh, what this secret actually means? It's why uh, it's why all these religious leaders dress like like clowns to stand out. They want everybody to know. Before I started studying this Hebrew, I had seen a movie on YouTube probably six years ago, and it was a couple of rabbis, and they were fessing up, you know, that they couldn't read the the, the ancient Hebrew, the biblical Hebrew. They said that you know you learn one or two things in school: either you memorize their meaning for the whole Bible, or you learn that the rules of the language turn 360 degrees and any word can mean anything at any time and then you memorize the Bible because you got so many years into it you want to just go ahead and get your position so I didn't read anything about Hebrew I just started reading the Bible I just started reading the ancient Torah the in, in Hebrew and and looking for patterns and trying to figure it out and uh, and so I don't recommend reading any of this about this uh, this punctuation but I I figured this out and uh, I thought I would just come to to see what they actually call this punctuation mark it uh, it's just a straight line and uh, if they don't space it enough sometimes you'll confuse it with the final N and it's spelt the PSQ and uh, and I'm a call that psych being being that it's this word here and so um it's just this line and it says originates from orig originates from biblical hebrew as it is not on standard hebrew keyboard because they don't know how to use it they don't know what it means a vertical bar is often used instead However, it is seldom, if ever, used in modern Israeli Hebrew and is not mentioned on the Academy of Hebrew Language. Uh, 
the guide to modern Hebrew punctuation. And the height of the 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 psych, the the PS is in like psi PS Q. And uh and that's that's the only reason I'm calling it psych. It, uh it, it might be called piss off. Piss off. That might be of a, a F. But um the height depends on the font, but usually generally the same height as the letter A. And like much biblical Hebrew punctuation, the meaning of, of the psych is not known. Like much of the, they don't even know what the punctuation means. So although a number of hypotheses exist, the word itself means separator. But this name was a medieval innovation by later Jews. The root psych does not exist in, in the Biblical Hebrew canon. A James Kennedy, an, an English Hebraist, wrote a book about the psych in which he hypothesized that it was ancient marks serving the same purpose as the modern word psych. And so in Latin psych, it's inserted after a quoted word or passage indicates that the quoted matter has been transcribed or translated exactly as found in the source, in the source text, complete with any erroneous, archaic, or otherwise non-standard spelling. It, um, and that's what I had figured out when I saw it, that uh, if it was used after a, a, a long line, um, many of the words in that line would be misspelled. They would be spelled different than what they were usually saw in the in the writings. But it, he hypothesized it was the ancient mark serving the same purpose as the modern word psych in the non-Latin text. So in the Westminster Leningrad Codex contains over 500 psychs. Uh, the first one you see in Genesis 1-5 and so William Wicks, an influential scholar in this area, divided them into nine classes. And Wilhelm Gestinus, I'm guessing that's at that name, drawing on Wicks, divided them into five. So he it, it says it's got five different uses. And one is a divider between two words which end and begin with the same letters as in this slum, and then this this is a, a final M, and this is a one letter word because this is a final M. The slum from, and you see the little, the psych here in between it. And in between identical or very similar words, as in the dance or dance, are the roofed to roof. The rugged to rugged. Between words which are to high degree contradictory, as in God and evil, and uh, and they got this misspelled. When you see this in the Bible, I don't remember where exactly it's at, but it it just be the A L E I. The M won't be there. The the God and the evil. Uh, between words otherwise liable to be wrong, wrongly connected, as in a, psych, ba, uh, which Abba, A-B-A, would be father. And so they wanted to separate it so you don't mistake it as father. And lastly, between heterogeneous terms, uh, hetero like homo, Genius is the same gene, and heterogeneous is, is different genus, different genes, totally different. As in Elijah, the high priest, and Joshua, you see this Joshua is the, the exact same spelling uh, in Greek will be the same spelling for Jesus in the New Testament. The, the Alexer of the con, the elixir, the con, psych to Joshua. And so this uh, this elixir actually reads Rosola, 
the first cut oil, Rizzola. And so example may be found in Genesis 1.5. And so this first example, they'll tell you, doesn't fit any of these five. This is, uh, this would be to make fair, I think they say this means called from a yell. And then the light is what they give this the meaning. The, the lower, the light. So the God in the light, you know, they they wouldn't fit any of these any of these five meanings it's because they don't know what it means but I, I know what it means because I've I learned it by reading the entire Bible without being brainwashed by what they said it meant first and I'm fixing to show y'all so th this psych is spelled PSQ or pay samic cough so if we look at the the letter meaning chart, is the pay is to open. And the samic is secret. And, and the cough is uh, to come after, or the center. The, uh, you don't see that in all the charts, but the cough is the fifth direction, is, is, is center. And where you have to know where you're at, the center before you know where you're going. And so cough is an ancient symbol in, in all ancient languages, meaning the fifth direction or the center. So we'll see it used several times here in, the, in Deuteronomy 5. This is the second writing of the Ten Commandments. And, uh, and so this is Vav Yom, this to the day, the, the Yom is what they call day. It's, but, uh, it's too yum, to Y U M. The this this yod is Y J or I, either way. And uh and so this is to the day of the seventh or this E is the and, and Shin. This B is N J O Y. To the day this enjoy Sabbath is rest. Uh you see here they they call it this the Sabbath and they'll separate it because because in Genesis 2 3 the Sabbath means rested SBT to consume the butt to sit down to rest to cease the work and cease the worst and cease the work and and rested And so what they'll do is they'll take the same word and they'll just divide it up in, into different words so they can change the meaning. But what this says is, is to the day this enjoy, the Sabbath, to rest, to consume the butt, to sit down. And then this is like a dead end. You walk down the passage and you hit a wall. It went nowhere. And so you turn around and you read all this backwards. And so that on the day, to the day, this enjoy the rest. And then tabs, TBS, tabs, to make writing. To make the writings, the joy in C. The J-O-Y-B is N-S-E. The joy in C, Mui, Mui, much too. The day this enjoy the Sabbath to rest, the writings, the tabs, to keep up with what you did last week, to write your journal at the end of the week, the tabs, the joy in see much to life. And so when you see this, you, you, you read backwards using this end letter in, in both words. This is now two three letter words. Sabbath, and then tabs, the joy in C, Mui, M-U-Y, much to life, L-I-E-V-E, -E, the live, the life. So that's the reason for this psych. It's uh, inserted after a quoted or passage it indicates the quoted matter has been transcribed or translated exactly as found because 
the spellings would be different. This comes from the ancient Teutonic language. It's ancient phrases that were written like that, you know, for reading forward and backwards. And so what? Uh, just because you see it on on Wikipedia don't make it true. Uh, there, there's some truths in there, and then you'll often see uh, they'll have a, a quote beside it to, to lead you in the wrong direction, to add a lie to it. But uh, about three days ago, when I was when I was looking up at uh, at Brighton, they had a page, and they just let you know that they were the scum of the earth. They they said that they were all neo-Nazi conspiracy theorists, Christians, and uh, and then that now today you can't even find it on Wiki. They they don't even acknowledge that they exist. So there's a dispute on what day the Sabbath is. Was it Saturday or Sunday? And uh, and this is going to give us a hint right here, the first day. And if y'all let me read down this with proper punctuation, just these first five lines, we'll get it figured out. And when I say proper punctuation, I mean that any word that starts with an A is going to read backwards. And any word coming after a word with attack in it is going to read backwards and forwards. Instead of PNI, this tack is going to make this INPNI. And then the the first time that this that this psych is used, this is going to read this starts with the A, so it's going to read backwards. And then it's going to go this way. This word is going to read backwards. And then it starts on the other side of the wall. So what this says is, in receipt, by receipt, in receipt bear from Yale. This is from Y-E-L-A. From Yale to, and from Yale, that's the, that's the captain of the boat. He's the one in charge, the one hollering. To the Shamim, the spirit form of SM Firewaters. The spirit form what hears. They're the same, the same from what hears. Those like me. In receipt bear from a yell to the Shamim what hears. Whereas eight two to be connected, eight form work towards to be connected, to husk all in place, all in ping. A ping is a place when you're mapping, uh, your ping is your position. All in place tomb to root, to awaken from a yell from repetal in place them form. And then the first day to yammer, to make, to make vayad, to make amar, to word, to make the knowledge from to begin, to, 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 to start, the word to start, go, to yammer from yell, make the work, yee-haw, ra, wage, row or, ra is the rower, where, w-i-r-e, to make the first knowledge, the first knowledge, the first thing you got to learn is, is where, the first thing you have to know, where, you wake up in the morning, where am I, where from yell to Row the oar. R U A. Row E V A U R. Where from yell to row the oar. Key. Both hub. Key as in as in uh, a key on your on uh, on old flywheel that makes the flywheel spin with the shaft is the key. To slip the key in both hubs where both hubs are pulling the left hub and the right hub, positive traction, to key both hubs, vibital, to, vibital, to make, visualize in your head, vibital, to make the picture of, to make vibital from a yell between the hour and between each second. And then to make fair, this is W-I-Q-R-A, wicker, 
Wicker is the reed that you weave a basket out of. And to make fair means you've got a basket load that you're carrying. To make fair, the wicker. To make fair from a yell. The, the line has me read this. The A has me read it backwards. From Y-E-L. From yell. Ark make to. The ark make to lower yum. Yum, delicious. The works connected from. To lusk fair lily. To make fair from a yell. Ark make to lower the day, to lusk fair lily, the night, the wage, the way to make the work is your wage, to wage, and then backwards and forwards, to bear the orb, the wage to bear the orb, the, the, the spinning ball in the heavens, the wage in the roof before, RQ, RF, roof in four, the roof in four is the, the, the sun signs, the twelve sun signs. Line everything up with the orb, the, the planet, and the twelve sun signs to make connect from the yum and starts with the A and this reads backwards. The da, D-H-A. So this is the ancient Egyptian Ra. Ra is the rower and his wage is to row the oar. And any time you see that Ra isn't in the boat, you see his head is painted on the oar, on both oars, to keep both hubs. Ra, Ra is the rower. And Ra's day is Da. And this is, uh, this is the Arabic sign for Jupiter, Da, the 10, Jupiter, Thursday. So that's Thursday, and then the second day would be Friday, the sign. The third day is Saturday, which is the solus, your solar plexus, your, your third chakra. And then the fourth day is the Sunday. And that would be called RB Joy, the first in joy is Sunday. First in joy. Then the Monday would be the fifth day. And that's the chemistry. That's the that's the rabbit on the moon. The uh the the chemist on the moon is is the rabbit. He's got a mortar and pistol. The rabbit on the moon. The fifth day. And then the sixth day is Tuesday. And that's the sissy. The, the Tuesday is uh is Mars. And then on the seventh day in the seventh, in yum, of the sabi joy, this in joy, the Sabbath, this in joy, the day of this in joy is the Sabbath. This is Wednesday. This is the day of Hermes, Toph, the day of this, this in joy. So back in the day, we had, we worked. Monday and Tuesday and we had Wednesday off. Wednesday was the Sabbath. We went back to work Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And then you had Sunday off. Sunday was the first in joy. The first day off. And then this and then Wednesday was the Sabbath joy, the seventh. So the most of your Christian churches still use uh Wednesday and Sunday, you know, to for their church days, but they they kind of got them mixed up. But uh, to make call from a yell by the connection from this enjoy from lack 
to raise to raise wash on uh, on the Sabbath you you don't even wash from in in the day this enjoy Michael and then reads backwards what call from lack to and uh, you see that uh, uh, closely to the word angel from Michael what call from lack to to raise wash and over here it uh, it's uh, from Michael what call from lack to raise or bear don't even shave on this day you ain't doing nothing all right I'm gonna cut this off here it's a it's a pretty good long movie and I'm gonna go see the kids play tonight I'm gonna try to get this up on all three of those pages and so uh, I hope y'all will subscribe to me on uh, on one of the other two pages, because on the tenth, um, December tenth, word is that uh, that YouTube is going to vent out a lot of us that that can't help with with their promoting. All right, good day, folks.